everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon Fusion video. In our last episode of the Fusion series, I did say that I was going to be adding a new category. It's been about a year since I've added a new one, so I'm very excited to show you guys even more fusions. If you are new to my channel, this is a top 10 series. I have covered cool, creepy, funny, cute, and now the prettiest. And there are multiple episodes of each category because there's tons of fusions to be shown, so I can't just settle with 10. I have to show more. All of the art links are in the description below, so I really, really, really want you guys to go check out their Divian art pages. Uh, without them, there wouldn't be any top 10 fusion videos, and they're really, really talented, and they definitely deserve your support. So anyway, on screen right now are our viewer fusions. As long as you draw it yourself, you have a giant chance of getting your own artwork featured in one of my videos. You guys are super important to me, so I like to include you guys in my videos. I love you. Do not steal art or you will be disqualified. I will call you out on Twitter too and no one likes a thief, so farewell. To submit, you simply just follow me on Twitter and you send me a picture. To make sure it doesn't get buried, putting hashtag tricky fusion will be helpful for me and for you. Moving on to our comment fusions, from Will Herrick, we have an Arcanine and Reshiram fusion called Reshiranine type fire dragon with the ability levitate. Next from Pepper Poet, I love that name, they have a Darkrai and a Zapdos fusion. Its name is Darkrai, it is the dark god. It has the ability Black Bolt. Then from Carla Knowles. Carla Knowles? Knowles? We have a Feraligator and a Dragonite fusion. It is Dragon Water and it is a mixed attacker. Be sure to answer the question of the day and let's make it to our light goal. I have faith in you guys. We have always reached it. Let's get it. That sounded so country. Let's get it. <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and start our top 10. Taking our number 10 spot, we have a Gardevoir and a Chandelure Fusion. This thing is so gorgeous. I've said in past videos that I am obsessed with Blue Fire. Blue Fire is just elegant to me, and there's something refreshing about it. Gardevoir is considered to be a very pretty Pokemon in general, but by turning it into a fiery ghost, it makes it even prettier. I don't even know how that works out. The blue and black color combination is very lovely and I'm sure that most of you guys love that. I love the design of the fire and how it just spirals up at the tip and it's almost giving it a Tim Burton look, which I am especially a fan of. This dress even appears to be kind of burnt on the bottom and it levitates to move. All of these things are just such good qualities to this artwork and it adds to it. I love it. A name for this fusion could be Gardalore. Um, but anyway, I would like more ghost type Pokemon who have a elegant feel to them. And hopefully we'll see more of them in Generation 7. Moving on to number 9, we have a Mega Aldino and a Blissey fusion. It's beautiful. On most days, I don't really like Aldino that much, but this fusion is lovely. I love it. I love the colors and it just, it actually looks like it would be a pretty little fairy Pokemon. It's so much prettier than Mega Aldino. I wish this is what it looked like. It's lovely. Its type is normal fairy and it's basically a healer angel type Pokemon. Its signature ability is healing aura and its signature move is health barrier. This thing would be the savior of your team. The colors and the wings are what makes it so beautiful and I definitely love it. The name given to this fusion is Autolus. I love it. Or Mega Autolus. My mistake. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Taking our number 8 spot, we have a Ho-Oh and an Espeon fusion. It's so pretty! It's so majestic! It's so lovely! I love it! I love everything about this fusion. The wings are definitely beautiful, but the thing that gets me the most is the tail feathers. I love how they're just feathered out and just spread like that. And I wonder if it does that tail thing that Ho-Oh does. Like maybe when it gets angry, that's when it flares up its feathers like that. That would be very cool. Hopefully in the future, whenever we get a flying evolution, we'll actually get a design that looks just as pretty as this one because I am super picky. Hopefully they don't mess it up. That's a really good opportunity. But I also love how its back legs are the ones that have the talons on it. But that's also a really good touch because it looks so elegant in the front and then it looks like I could freaking gouge your eyes out with its back legs. I love it. It's just a mixture of dangerous and beauty. The best combination in the world. But it definitely fits Espeon. This is so lovely. I love it. A name for this fusion could be Espiho. Oh. 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 Uh, Espiano. Espiano sounds cool. 
I like it. Moving on to number seven, we have a Lopini, a Rush Ram, and a Swana Fusion. Lopini is definitely the dominant Pokemon in this fusion, and compared to the other ones, it's a lot more simple than the other designs. It's very, very light, but it doesn't mean it can't be a good design either. Maybe another flying fighting type would be really cool. I would love to see more of them. I love the combination of cream and the reds. It's one of my favorite mixtures of color, but it's very pretty. Sometimes simplicity is the best, and it works out perfectly. The name given to this fusion is Reshanyaira. Whoa. It's very pretty. It's this right here. I can't pronounce it, but I like it. Moving on to number six, we have a Chandelure and a Ninetales fusion. This is definitely a different take on a Chandelure fusion, but it mixes perfectly with Ninetales. Along with the ghost typing, you see Chandelure's designs all over its body, and along with that, the tail is a masterpiece. I love it. I've probably mentioned this before, but if Ninetales ever got a Mega Evolution, I would want it to be Ghost Fire. It would make the most sense with Ninetales, considering that Ninetales can learn so many ghost type moves. And then on top of that, there's Japanese mythology that surrounds spirit foxes, or wisps that take the form of foxes. It would make sense. But in any case, this fusion is definitely beautiful. I love purple. And it just looks elegant elegant to me. It looks dangerous, fluffy at the same time, so you just win all around. A name for this fusion could be Nine Lore or Shandetails or something. I don't know. That sounds like a baby show. Taking our number five spot, we have a Vaporeon and a Goldeen fusion. Out of the evolutions, Vaporeon is probably one of the more pretty ones because in Pokemon Stadium, it's seen with sparkles shining from it to show how beautiful and valiant this Pokemon is. And on top of that, Vaporeon probably has one of the best designs I've ever seen. Fusing it with a Goldeen is one of the best ideas ever because both are considered to be very pretty Pokemon and combining them together just makes a lovely result. I love the colors. It looks like it would be the queen of the water type Pokemon. I definitely love this design. The artist did a fantastic job on it. A name for this fusion could be Vapordine or Goldion. Moving on to number four, we have our lovely thumbnail fusion. We have a Gardevoir and a Swana fusion. This is one of the most graceful looking fusions I've seen in a long time. I love the feathers coming from its body. This reminds me of Black Swan. If you haven't seen that movie, it's a little weird. It's kind it gets a little, little touchy, if you know what I mean. But this fusion reminds me of that movie. I also like how this fusion has like a dance-like theme because I know Curlia is seen dancing in her little animated sprite type thingy. She's a little ballerina. And with Gardevoir, it was more like of a uh, elegant princess type thing. But I like how they brought it back and brought back like a Swan Lake looking type of Pokemon thingy. This one is one of my favorites. Lovely artwork, lovely colors, lovely everything. A name for this fusion could be Gardevoir. Gardevoir? Or, or Swanivore. Moving on to number three, we have a Kyogre and an Articuno fusion. This fusion has been seen in one of my videos before, one of my first ones that I've ever released, and I just couldn't pass it up again. It's way too pretty for me not to. This fusion definitely has such a lovely design, and I most likely brought it up in the last time I talked about it, but it reminds me of the blue eyes shining dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. I used to have a giant Yu-Gi-Oh obsession, and it's from the the movie if you ever seen it or saw it but this is what it looks like it's kind of pretty but I love the light I love glowing stuff and of course it has giant wings and I love wings I love the idea of flying it makes me very very happy inside <laughs> but I definitely wish it was real or at least we had a Pokemon that looks kind of similar to it but you know maybe one day there's hope a name for this fusion could be Kyokuno or Artyogre or something like that if you haven't seen the episode where I first talked about this fusion I really recommend that you check it out. It is in the description and I should have an annotation somewhere so you could click it. So yeah, be sure to check out all of my earlier fusion videos. So let's go ahead and move on to number two. Taking our number two spot is a Floet and a Mega Gardevoir fusion. I apologize for all the Gardevoir fusions, but they're pretty. I can't lie. But anyways, this one is definitely gorgeous. The color combination is so rich. It looks like a garden. It legit looks like a fairy garden spirit of something. I love this. Its type is fairy and it has a signature ability flower shield and its move is ethereal breeze or ethereal breeze. However how you want to say it. I do not know how to pronounce a lot of things so you have to bear with me. But it's really pretty but it will probably smother you with its flower and then giggle about it afterwards. 
I love it. The name given to this fusion is Mega Gardalit. It's so lovely. Now before I move on to number one, just reminding you to answer the question of the day in the comment section below and also leave a like. It really does help out a lot more than you think. If you haven't seen the other Pokemon Fusion videos, there is a playlist in the description below. Just go down to it, click it, and then there's all the Fusion videos. So if you love Pokemon, you're going to love them. So anyway. And also, please subscribe if you haven't already. We're so close to 100k, guys. That is amazing. I never thought that we would even get that far. But if it wasn't for you guys, we never would have came this far. I just want to thank you guys so much and spread the word. We're almost there, guys. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, sorry. We need to go on to number one. Taking our number one spot, we have a Dialga and a Mega Diancy Fusion. These two Pokemon are the best combination ever. Combining the mascot of Pokemon Diamond with Diancy. Diancy's move is Diamond Storm, and this thing's signature move is Diamond Blast. Diancy is definitely on the cute side, but of course, if you fuse it with a dragon, it's gonna look more menacing. Just look at those eyes. That thing will fight you and stab you with its diamond butt. What? That doesn't sound menacing at all. But... See, I, I done ruined it. But this design is so well thought out. Everything about it, the colors, the anatomy, everything about it, I just, it's so beautiful. The artist did a fantastic job with it. But anyway, that is our number one prettiest fusion for this episode. Again, I remind you guys to check out the other fusion videos. Please leave a like and subscribe. Um, be sure to follow me on Twitter for more updates and all that good stuff. I also have an Instagram. Some of you guys don't even know I have an Instagram. But if you would like to follow up on more of my personal life. I guess you could follow me on there, but yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!